guys, I'm back today. I'm going to read Lamentations 1 to 5, Ezekiel 1 to 2, Proverbs 9, and Psalm 45. Let's get started. How lonely is to see those who are people? How like a widow has she become? She who was great among the nations, she who was a princess among the provinces, has become a slave. She weeps bitterly in the night with tears on her cheeks among all her lovers, where there is none to comfort her. All her friends adult treacherously with her, they have become her enemies. And she has gone into exile because of her affliction and heart surgery. She does know among the nations would find this no resting place. Her pursuers have all overtaken her in the midst of her distress. Her words to sign a man, for none comes to the festival, or he gets a desolate. Her priest crying, her virgins have been afflicted. Have been afflicted. She herself suffers bitterly. Her foes have become the head, her enemies prosper. I guess the Lord has afflicted her and the most she has transgressions. And her children have gone away, kept us before the fair. Um, the door of Zion will emerge seized the upon her. Her princes have become like a deer that find no pasture. They fled without strength before the pursuer. Jerusalem never remembers the days of affliction and wonder, all the precious things that were hers from the day of, from days of war. And he fell into the hand of the foe, and there was none to help her. Her foes glared over her and mocked at her downfall. Jerusalem sinned grievously, therefore she became filthy, all who wanted her to despise her. But they have seen her nakedness, she herself grinds and turns her face away. Her uncleanness was in her skirts, and she strongly thought of her future. And her love was terrible, she has no comfort now. Her love, behold my affliction for the enemy's child. The enemy has stretched out his hands over all the precious things. And she has seen the nation and her sanctuary, with those whom he forbade to enter your confusion. While he progressed, they said, as they said to her, they trade their treasures for food to revive the shrine. Look at and see, for I am despised. And uh, isn't it nothing to you, all you who ask me? Look and see. If there, if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which is brought upon me, is the Lord which the Lord inflicted on the day of his facing. From on high he had fire, but into my bones he made it descend. He spread a net for my feet. For my feet, he's turning back, he's left me stunned. Faint all the day long, my transgressions were banned in two years. I was handed out fastened to the earth, was set upon my neck. He caused my strength to fail, and the Lord gave me into the hands of those whom I cannot withstand. The Lord rejected all my mighty men and madness. He threw out someone in the assembly way against me to crush my young men. The Lord's strong and white man is the virgin Lord of Jew. Now these things I weep, my eyes flow with tears. Her comfort is far from me, the one to revive my spirit. Then I join her desolate, for the enemy is prepared. The Lord stretches out her hands, and there is none to come to The Lord's command against Jacob that his neighbor should be his first. Jerusalem has become a filthy thing among them. Among them, and the Lord is in the world. I have a blood against his word, and here he was, and see my suffering. I am one of my own men according to captivity. I called to my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and elders perished in the sea. When they sought food to abide the strength, I look, Lord, if I am in distress, my stomach churns, my heart is wrong within me, because I have been the rider of the bones. In the street, the sword breathes, the enhance is like death. They had my granny, yet there is no one to comfort me. When my enemies are ahead of my trial, they are glad that you have done it. You have brought the day you and us, and now let them be as I am. I take evil doing come before you and deal with it, as you have dealt with it, because of all my transgressions, for my grounds have been many, and my heart is very How the Lord is in your sick dwellers, I am declared. He is cast down from heaven to earth, it's been the age. He has not remembered his foot's door in the day of anger. The Lord has swallowed up without mercy all that you have taken and taken. He has wrath, he has broken down the strongholds of the door that you he has brought down to the ground dishonor his great and immense foes. He has cut down in face anger all the mighty Israel. He has withdrawn from his right hand in the face of the enemy. He has burned like a flaming fire and Jacob consuming all the Consuming all He has bent the bow like the enemy. He has bent the bow like an enemy. And with his right hand set like a fire, he has killed all the men of delight with their eyes. And he turned out the door of Zion. He has brought his fear and fall like fire. The Lord has become like an enemy. He has swallowed up Israel. He has swallowed up in all its palaces. He has laid him over his strongholds. He has multiplied the door of Judah, a man in lamentation. He has laid waste his booth like a god, and laid him over his meeting place. The Lord has made his iron for the estimable and Sabbath, and his fierce indignation has called the spurned king of priests. The Lord has scorned his laughter and his dissatisfaction. He has lived into hell, adding the walls of the palaces. And the palaces. Now he raised a climate in the house of the Lord, and as on the day of festival, the Lord determined the house of the Lord. Determined to lay him runs the wall of the door of Zion. He stretched out the measurement line, he did not restrain his hand from destroy. He caused rampart and wall to them, and they languished to go. And he gave his son into the ground, he's ruined and broken the bar. The king and prince saw him among the nations, the Lord is no more. And the prophets find no vision from the bar. The elders of the door of Zion stood on the ground, and they had thrown dust in their head, and put on sacrifice. The young women and Jerusalem had bowed their heads to the ground. My eyes were spent with weeping, my stomach churned. My bill was poured out to the ground because of the destruction of the Lord of the Hebrew, my Hebrew. He was infants and babies fleeing in the streets of the sea. And he cried to them, Where is bread and wine? As they fainted like a wind in the streets of the sea. 
He said life is poor down there, Miles Boston. What can I say for you? Uh, what can pay? They told her the truth, and what can I liken to you? Now they can feed you. Their vision to her, just I have your own fast to see. They can hear your prophets have seen for you, horse and disturbance. They have no expression in the great territory of fortune. They have seen for you, oracles, they have forced and misleading. What will pass along the way? Clap their hands at you. Yeah, here's some wag their heads at the door of Jerusalem. Is this city the city that was called the perfection of beauty, the joy of all the earth? All your enemies were out against you, here's they gnash their teeth. They cry, we are sworn to have, ah, this is the day, not me, Rome. We run, for now we have seen it. Now we have been seen. And the Lord has done what he promised, he's carrying out his way. But you commanded one, but he's done that without fear. And you made an enemy of the dust, and you sold the one in your flesh. My heart cried to the Lord of the door's side. Let's trade his stream down like a torrent day, and I give his heart to us. Yeah, I was never spying. I was crying at the night. At the beginning of the night, we'll just cry to heart like wood. For the presence of the Lord, if you hate to realize your truth, you're going to find him at the head of the street. Let the little one see with him how we dealt with us. Should a woman eat the fruit of the land? I tell him that the tender The priest and prophet be killed in the sanctuary of the Lord. And thus I should fly the young and old, my young one and my young man, have all my son. They have killed them today, the man is alone without pity. He summoned it as if to a festival day, my terrors will never cease. Oh dear, then you will no escape or survive. Those whom I have not made my enemy destroy. I am the man who has seen the affliction under the rod of Israel. He has driven and brought me into the dark side anyway. He has shown me against me, turns my hand, and again, again, and again, and again, the holy God. He has made my flesh and my, he has made my flesh and my skin waste away. He has broken my bones. He has besieged and enveloped me with bitterness and tribulation. He has made me dwell in darkness like the day longer. He has warned me. And I bow so that I can ask it. And he has made my chains heavy, there I call and cry for how he shuts up my prayer. He has blocked my ways with blocked stones. And he has made my progress crooked. He has a bad line away from me, a line in height. He has turned aside my steps and torn me to pieces. He has made me desolate. He burned his burns and me as a tile for his eye. He drove me into my kidney. He dove into my kidneys the eyes of his cover. And I have become the laughing stock of all people's object of the taunts of the devil. He has filled me with bitterness and saved me with well wood. He has made my teeth grind and grumble. He made me cow and ashes. I saw this book bereft of peace, and I have, I have forgotten what happiness is. So I say, my endurance is perished, so I my heart from the Remember my affliction, my one day, so one way in the goal. And I saw a good deal, and he remembers it. And he's bowed down with me, with this accord to my death, I have had. My staff is low, the Lord never ceases, his mercy is never come to an end. And you have been one, he of faithfulness, the Lord is my portion, says my soul. Have all hope in him, the Lord is good to those who wait for to the soul of season. It is good that one should wait quietly. And the salvation of the Lord is good for a man, and he should bear the year against you. Mm. Let him sit alone in silence when it is laid on him. Let him put his mouth on us, that they may yet be heard. Let him give his cheek to one his strikes, and let him be filled with insults. And lo, not cast off forever, that they may cause grief. He will have compassion according to the abundance of his stature. He does not flee from his heart or grieve the children of men. The crush underfoot will be prisoners of the earth to deny a man justice in the friends of the most high. To subvert a man is lost, the Lord does not breathe. He has spoken and came to pass on this Lord's commandment. This is not from the mouth of the Lord's time that came back on. Why should a living man complain a man about the punishment of his sins? And that sin is an examine that ways, and return to the Lord. And this lifted up our hearts and hands to go into heaven. He has transferred his number about, and you have not forgiven. You wrapped yourself with anger and pursued him you know, without pity. So you, you have wrapped yourself with the kind that no prayer can pass through. Then you have made a scum and garbage among the peoples. We are our enemies with the mass against us. How did he get for have come upon us? Devastation and destruction. My eyes will have rose and tears because of the destruction of the door of my people. My eyes will fly without season or without respect, until the Lord from heaven looks down and sees. And my eyes cause me grief at the fate of all the daughters of my city. I have been hunted like a bird, I have issued my enemies without good. They flung me alive into a pit and cast stones on me. Water closed in my hair and said, I am lost. I go on in the name of the Lord. And the death of the people, you have my plea. Do not close your ear to my cry for help. You came to me when I called to you. And he said, Do not fear. You have taken out my cause, and you are redeemed my life. You have seen the wrong done to me, O Lord. Judge my cause. You have seen all the avenges, all their plots against me. And you have had their taunts of all their plots against me. And you listen and thoughts of my assailants are against me all the day long. You know they're sitting and they're rising. I am the object of their taunts. You are paid my will. I'm going to work in your hands. You will keep them dumb and so hard. Your curse will be on them. You will pursue them in anger and destroy them. I am under your hands, O Lord. You are the God's grand do. Now the pure God has changed, and the holy stones lie scattered. And the holy stones lie scattered at the head of every street. Precious sons of Zion, where they wait and find God. How they are God as earth and pass away through with God's hands. Even jackals go for the breast. They nest the young. Let the daughter of my hippos become cool. Like the ostriches in the wilderness, the tongue of the nursing infant sticks to the roof of its mouth for the rest. It's shown back for free, but no one gives to him. Those who are once feasted on delicacies perish in the street. Those who are brought up in purple and embrace ashes. My chest is met at the daughter of my hippos, being greater than the punishment of 
which is every time in my mind, their hands were run, hands were run for her. Now, the princess were pure than snow. One of them, okay, their bodies were more ruddy than cold, beauty, their forms like sapphire. Their face is blacker than soot, and they are not recognized in the streets. Their skin is true, rolled on their bases, come as dry as wood. Happy were the victims of the sword, and the victim of the hunger. They wished away, pierced by lack of the fruits of the field. Their hands come, and compassionate women have bored their own children. They came their fruit during the destruction of the door of the table. Low gave full vent to his wrath, he caught his heart, and he came no far inside. And the iron that continued its foundation, the king said, yet did not believe, nor anything happens to the world, nor that Pharaoh and we can enter the gates of Jerusalem. And this is who the sins of the prophets and the iniquities of their face. He shamed them as to have the blood of the righteous. They wandered blind through the streets, as the, they were so to fill with blood, and that no one was able to touch their garments. Their garments, oh, well, away, unclean people cried, away, do not touch. So they became fugitives and murdered. And the people said among the nation, they shall stay with us no longer. The Lord himself has scattered them. You are a godly man. No more, no honor was shown to praise. Was shown to praise, no favor to the others. I was favored ever watching, and vainly for helping of watching me worship for a nation that which you could not save. A dog assessed that we cannot walk in the streets, that entering our days were numbered. Her end and uh, uh, pursuers were swifter than the ewes in the hands. They chased us on the mountains, they lay away for us in the wilderness. The breath of your own nostrils slows in my heroes, captured in the pits. I've heard me say, under the shadow we shall live among the nation. Rejoice and be glad, I dwell by us. And your daughter of Eva, and you hear daughter of Eva, and the two years of the cup shall pass, you shall become drunk and strip yourself there. And your punishment of your iniquity, your daughter's son, is accomplished, you will keep you in exile no longer. And you and Nick, your daughter's head on, he will punish, he will uncover your sins. And remember, the Lord was before us, look and see your disgrace, and heaven is sent to be turned over to strange. Our homes to foreigners, we have become orphans, fathers, our mothers like withers. You must pay for the water we drink, the wood we get must be bought. Our pursuers are our own necks, we are weary, we are giving no rest. We have given the hand to Egypt and to Syria to give women. Our father's sins are not no more, we will bear their iniquities. Slaves are ever, so there is none to deliver us from the hand. We go up right at the peril of our lives, because the sword in the wilderness. Our skin is hot as an hour, with the burning heat of famine. We want our raped and sign, young women in the tents of Jew, princes. Princes are hung up by the hands. No speck is shown to the others. Young men are compelled to grind at them. And boys stagger under loads of wood. The old men had left the sea gate. The young men they knew. The joy of our hearts to seize. Our dancing has been turned to men. Turned to men. And the crown has fallen from our hand. Where shall we ascend? For this our hearts become sick. For these things our eyes are grinding. And that desire which lies dust like jackals proud of And that you, O Lord, reign forever. If that unjust old generation, why do you forgive us forever? Why do you forsake us the same many days? Restore us to yourself, O Lord, that we may be restored. When you are days, says the Lord, unless you utterly reject us, and you remain exceedingly angry with us. Ezekiel 1 and 2. In the thirtieth year, in the fourth month, the fifth day of the month, as I was among the exiles by the Chabal Canal, the fair heavens were open, I saw visions of God. On the fifth day of the month, they were the word of the Lord came to Ezekiel the priest, son of Buzi, and the land of Chinese, uh, the Chabal Canal. And the hand of the Lord was upon me there. As I looked, behold, a stormy wind came out of the north, and a great cloud with brightness around it, and a fire flashing forth continually in the midst of the fire, as it were gleaming out, and from the midst of it came to likeness for the living creatures. And this was the appearance, they had a human likeness, but each had four faces, each of them had four wings, their legs were strained, so their feet were like the salt of the castle. And they sparkled like burnished bronze, under their wings on the four sides, they had human hands, and the four lay on their faces, and their wings thrust them. And their wings thrust, their wings touched one another, each one of them went straight forward, without turning as they were, as for the likeness of their faces. Each had a human face, the forward the face of the lion on the right side, the forward the face of the ox on the left side, the forward the face of the eagle. Such were their faces, and the wings were spread out above. Each creature had two wings, when each, each of which touched the wing of another, while two covered their bodies, and each went straight forward, wherever the spirit of God they their way, without turning his statement. As the likeness of the living creature, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, like the appearance of torches moving to and from among the living creatures. And the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning, and the living creatures darted to and fro, like the appearance of a flash of lightning. And I looked at the living creatures, and we on the left beside the living creature. Oh. One for each of the four of them. That's what they appeared to their wheels and their construction. The appearance was like a gleaming bell, and the four had the same likeness. They appeared in the con in its construction, being as it were a wheel within a wheel, and they went they in any of their four directions, any of the four directions, without turning as they went. And their rooms were torn also, and the rooms were brought forward with four eyes open. Uh, full of eyes all over. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went beside them, and when the living creatures rose from the earth, the wheels rose wherever the spirit wanted to go, they went. And the wheels rose along with them, but the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. 
And there is one these man, and these thirst and these two. And there is worse from the earth, the wheel is worse along with it. And the spirit of living creatures was in the woods. And the heads of living creatures, there is a light inside of the expanse, shining with awe inspiring crystals spread out above the heads. <clears throat> and along the expanse, their wings were stretched out straight one toward another. Any creature had two wings covering its body. When they were, I had to sound their wings like the sound of many wars. Like the sound of the Almighty, it sounded more like the sound of an army. When they stood still, they let down their wings, and they came with some of the expanse above and over the head. When they stood still, they let down their wings. And above the expanse and over the head, there was a blackness of the throne. And appearance like sapphire, and seated above the likeness of the earth, there was a likeness with a human appearance. And upward from where the appearance, where had the appearance of the voice, I saw it as a wood living now, like the appearance of fire and closed over. And downward from what had the appearance of his, of his waist, I saw it as was the appearance of fire, and that's brightness of it, like the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud on the day of rain. So that was the appearance of the brightness of the light. Such was the appearance of the light as they were able to When I saw it, I fell on my face, and I heard the sound of voice of one speak. And he said to me, Son of man, I stand on your feet, I'll speak with you. And he spoke to me, and the spirit entered into me, and set me on my feet, and I heard him speaking to me. And he said to me, Son of man, I send you to the Hebrew who are to the nations of rebels. For rebelled against me, they and their fathers have transgressed against me this very day. Their senses are so impudent and stubborn, I send you to you, and you shall say to them, Thus is the Lord God. And whether he refuse to hear, they will know that a poor offer has been given. And you, son of man, do not be afraid of them, nor be afraid of their words. Their graves and thorns are with you, and you sound scorpions. Do not be afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks. For they are rebellious house, and shall speak my wisdom. Where they hear or feast here, for they are rebellious house. Hey, you son of man, hear what is it to you? Be not rebellious like that rebellious house. Open your mouth and eat what I give you. When I look, behold, a hand was stretched out to me. And behold, a scroll of a book was in it, and he spread it before me. He had writing on the front and on the back. And there were written on it words of lamentation and burning and woe. Proverbs 9. Wisdom is built house, she is hung with some pillars, she is slaughtered with beef, she is mixed wine, she is a stir at table, she is her young woman to pull from the highest place in the town, whoever is simple, I am turning here. Do you mean like sense? She says, come, you are my bread, and drink the wine that makes, leave with some boys in love, and walk in the way of insight. Whoever corrects his golf gets himself at peace, and he reproves a wicked man, kills and you. Do not reprove his golf, he will hate you, but reprove a wise man, he will love you. Give instruction to a wise man, he will be a stir wise, teach a wise man, he will increase in love. Here the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is inside. Remind me your days will be multiplied, and yours will be added to your life. He will moist your wise for yourself. And with coffee, you will learn more bread. The wind will flow inside. She is productive and knows nothing. She just sits at the door of the house. She takes the on the highest place of the town. Winter those who pass by, who goes straight on that way. Whoever is the blind down here. And during the relaxed night, she says, Don't water swing, bread, and you can miss your ghost blood. And he does not know that the dead of the dead, just in the depths of shore. Psalm 45. Uh, how I have a place with the pleasing thing, I dress my verse to the king. My tongue is like the pen of the Lord's God. You are the most handsome of the sons of man. Grace is poured upon your lips, therefore God bless you forever. You have the authority of sword in your thigh, mighty one, and you spend your majesty. And your majesty run up victoriously for the course of truth, meekness, and righteousness. And your right hand teach you also to your eyes are sharp in the hearts of the king's enemies. And your eagles fall under you, throne of God forever and ever. Sceptic of your kingdom, deceptive of our brightness. You love richness and hate wickedness. And therefore God your God is known to the royal gladness be on your dependence. In your companions, the rose of fragment, all fragrant and the rose and casia. Your ivory house, and the string instruments make you glad. String instruments make you glad. Those the kings are among your ladies on. Okay, your right hand stands clean and gold of fear. You get it to him. You can sit and climb your ear. Forget your people in your father's house. And the king will desire you to be, since he is above that day. The people's heart will seek your favor to which is the people, and the glories of the princess and the with robes interwoven with gold. In many colored robes she is led to the king, with the virgin companions falling behind her. With joy and gladness they are led along as they enter the palace of the king. And in place of your father shall be your sons, you will make them princes and the earth. And of course you need to be remembered all generations, therefore nation will praise you forever and ever. And now this is the action that I did, Lord's God. He's very handsome, father, and never have a bad name. The king will come, you will be in dawn on earth, as in heaven. You must have a day, but if you are the if you are the just use non-temptation of those in the evil one. Use the king and the pound of growth and the law, and see you tomorrow. Bye.